Okay, so far so good. Are we kind of like with it up to this, this point? Okay. Yeah, here he has two bowls. What are they? Roughly B and C. So it's that half step. Yeah, listen to it when it's with the living tones. It creates mystery. It's mysterious. Dom pravi da mistično zveniče, prav to se meni čuje več, kaj pa tebi, a vim sam. Tole, več kot pol. Majčki je več, ampak ni temperirano, ne? This is now, which notes? Roughly C and G. To bo zdaj kvinta. So, this is the natural harmony, and the other one was functional harmony. Functional harmony is created through notes that are dissonant. Funkcionalno harmonijo gradimo s toni, ki so dejansko v osnovi disonantni med seboj, ampak s temi instrumenti dobimo vseeno to, kar imenujemo funkcionalna harmonija. Med tem, ko tam, ko pa je med dvema posodoma tako in tako bila kvinta, pa je on rekel, to pa je naravna harmonija ki je tudi, če jo na pijaninu zaigrate ali pa na katerem koli drugem instrumentu. So, when they're placed in a natural harmonic relationship, they seem to resolve themselves. It's a sort of peaceful, loving embrace. But when they are in functional harmony, which means that their notes are a little dissonant, well, then they exchange energy. It's more like an engine or a motor that's going on rather than a, a just natural harmony. And it makes you want to be active, dynamic, whereas the harmonic ones, they want you to sort of relax and be peaceful. Torej, pri teh, ko dobimo te kombinacije, ki so funkcionalna harmonija, ne, ki v bistvu dobimo mi ven iz osnove, iz disonantnih tonov, pravi don, da da te kombinacije, ko jih mi igramo, energetizirajo in so v bistvu to taki motor zdravilnih moči, bi jih lahko tudi imenovali. Med tem, ko tiste naravne harmonične tone, če jih skupaj poslušamo, harmonične naravne tone, umirjajo.